which there is increase in the pressure in the lung arteries. Now this leads to adversely affects the heart and causes what we call as a right heart failure. Recognizing the symptoms of pulmonary hypertension early helps us in treating and improving quality of life in patients with pulmonary hypertension. So what are the symptoms of pulmonary hypertension? The first and foremost is dyspnea or easy fatigue. Now this dyspnea or easy fatigue can happen when you are walking on plain road or climbing up steps. Slowly as the disease progresses you may have dyspnea while you are uh, sitting as well. Another common symptom that happens with pulmonary hypertension is what we call as bendopnea or when you are looking down uh, to pick up certain things uh, from the floor the patient starts getting uh, breathing difficulty. The third important symptom can be fatigue and this fatigue can occur even after uh, having a good night's sleep and excessive fatigue can hamper your day to day life. The next common symptom is what we call as syncope. Now syncope is nothing but blackout when the patient is running or jumping or walking they suddenly feel dizzy and they fall out. This is an important symptom because the heart is not able to provide the blood to the brain. The next common symptom of pulmonary hypertension is what we call as cyanosis or uh, bluish discoloration of the lips or the nail beds. Now this happens because the lung is not able to uh, oxygenate the blood which is sent to the lung because of the disease and this causes bluish discoloration in the nail beds or on the lips. Palpitations or increased awareness of one's own heartbeat is also a common symptom of pulmonary hypertension. This again occurs because the heart is increased the rate to compensate for the decrease in the cardiac output. The next common symptom of pulmonary hypertension is chest pain or feeling heaviness in the chest. Again, this, is, uh, this happens because the enlarge in the lung arteries uh, can cause compression of the uh, blood vessels of the heart. Another common symptom of pulmonary hypertension is hoarseness of voice. This hoarseness of voice also occurs because the lung arteries having, uh, are increased in size and they, and they compress on one of the nerve which is called as a recurrent laryngeal nerve. Recognizing these symptoms of pulmonary hypertension early can help in diagnosing the disease early. If you or any one of your relatives uh, is facing this kind of symptoms, please contact your healthcare provider, get certain tests what we call as an ECG or an electrocardiogram or also look at an echocardiogram which can detect pulmonary hypertension early. Please remember detection of pulmonary hypertension early helps physicians like us to treat pulmonary hypertension in a much better way. Also, it improves the quality and the quantity of life in the patient significantly.